How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out Parsippany Ambulance Corps' new 2019 Chevy Tahoe. <laughs> How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at today is this 2019 Chevy Tahoe that we built for the Parsippany Volunteer Ambulance Corps. Up top we have a sound off signal M-Power light bar in dual color. In the grill we have sound off signal 4 inch M-Powers. There's a total of 4 of them in the grill. Uh, we have the headlight flasher installed that's currently on Park Kill. Taking a look at the side of the vehicle, on the front side bumper we have sound off signal 4 inch M-Powers in tri-color. The under mirror lights are the sound off signal intersectors in dual color. You can see the graphics package that we installed on the vehicle. We matched their existing patch and then we did some custom work with the uh, Star of Life in the side window. On the rear bumper we've got a 4 inch sound off signal M-Power also in tri-color. Taking a look at the back of the vehicle, you can see the graphics that we installed, just a, a little bit of chevrons along with the department. Um, in the back window, we have sound off signals interior Enforce light bar. In the tail lights, we've replaced the reverse lights with an LED bulb and wired it into blueprint. It still gives them the function of the reverse light, but it doesn't require any modification to the tail light, so it's retaining its factory warranty. We've tied the parking light into the blueprint system also. And then we have four inch sound off signal M powers to the rear bumper. Taking a look in the back here, we've got the sound off signal M powers mounted to the rear hatch. On the rear hatch trim piece, we have Technique dual color lights, so it gives them the white scene light and it also gives them the red night feature light. We installed the switch over on the side here for them uh, so that they can control it. And they also have the ability to have them off so that they uh, might not want them on at some point. Looking underneath the back seat, we have our electric distribution panel. So all of our uh, main power comes into here and then it branches off from there to the console. And then if it were to be in the back, it would tie into the rear cabinet. We've got our central controller for our blueprint system. And then we have our breakout boxes, our main fuse panel for our ignition and constant. And then we have our ground and power studs. This allows for very easy service of the vehicle. They just have to literally flip the seat up. They can, we can reprogram it. They can check their fuses. Uh, serviceability is key with vehicles. Taking a look at the console for the vehicle that we built for them. Um, it's one of our angled series console. The back part of the console has the radio face plate that allows you to mount items like your chargers and still gives you a pocket for storage. It's good for uh, <coughs> notebooks, uh, clipboards, small tablets, and it's still perfect that you can get your hands in. And I have big hands, so it's definitely plenty of room for that. Um, up top, we've got our uh, audio interface that interfaces with the car's radio. We've got our Blue Seas 12 volt in USB. We've got their radios and their scanner mounted on the upper part. And then on the flat section, we have the sound off signal blueprint control panel with the rotary knob along with the cup holders and armrest. And then on the side, we have the uh, hit mount mounted to the side of the console, which is very sturdy. Doesn't require any mounting to the front seat bolts. It gives the passenger plenty of uh, leg room when they need to. And then we have their uh, computer dock mounted to the top.